Hello students, this is the video number 5, chapter 2 of 9th standard physics, part C, equations of motion. So first, we will try to find first equation of motion. There are three equations of motion. First, we will try to get the first equation of motion. As you know, acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time. Delta means change. So that is final velocity minus initial velocity upon time. If you will cross multiply, you will get V minus U is equal to AT or simply V is equal to U plus AT. This is first equation of motion. First equation of motion. Second is second equation of motion to find this second equation of motion this also we know distance is equal to average velocity into time and average velocity that is equal to the mean of final velocity and initial velocity into t distance will be represented by s s is equal to let this as second equation use first in 2. So here in place of this V you can use this U plus A T. So U plus A T plus U upon 2 into T. So U plus U is what? 2U plus A T upon 2 into t s is equal to now just multiply this what you will get ut this 2 will cancel with this plus half a t square this is our second equation of motion now, third equation of motion, how will get that? Third equation of motion. As you know, S is equal to average velocity into time. So again, the same concept we will use. S is equal to average velocity into time. From first equation, time we can write as V minus U upon A. This part I am going to use here. So S is equal to V plus U upon 2 into V minus U upon A. Now, numerator of both the expressions will give us V square minus U square. How? A plus B into A minus B. That is A square minus B square. And in denominator, you will get 2A. Now again rearrange it, you will get V square minus U square into is equal to 2AS. And we can simply write this as V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. 
so this is third equation of motion so i'm going to write again all the three equations of motion so that it will be easy for you to revise this is first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t here second is s is equal to u t plus half a t square and third one is v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s these are the three equations of motion where v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity a is the acceleration t is the time taken after that some special cases we have special cases In special cases, first when body starts from rest, when body starts from rest, u is equal to 0 and in that case this first equation, second equation and third equation will change. So first will become v is equal to at because this u will be 0 and second equation will become half at square because this ut part will also be 0 and the third one is v square is equal to 2as because this u is also 0. So these are the new forms of the equation for the first special case when the body is at rest. Second, if the body is moving with a uniform retardation, if the body moves with the uniform with the uniform retardation as you know retardation means minus a so in that case in place of a we will write minus a so it will be first equation will be v is equal to u minus a t second will be u t minus half a t square only sign you have to change and the third is v square is equal to u square minus 2as. So these are the three new forms of the equation when acceleration is minus means body is moving with uniform retardation. So with this your uh, chapter number 2 will be over and numericals that we will discuss when school will get reopened so you can apply the concept on the numericals then uh, your doubts definitely will be considered in school okay thank you